I am going to introduce you to Zoe today. This is our little Chihuahua. She is about 12 years old. We got her when she was two from the Humane Society. More than once she has figured out how to get out of the backyard and she just wanders off onto her own little adventure in the neighborhood. So it's very important that we have an up-to-date uh, tag for her that she's always wearing. Recently, I noticed that the number for my cell phone had completely worn off. So I knew we needed to get her a new one right away. So I ran to my Xtool supply box and pulled out a little heart-shaped dog tag. In less than 10 minutes, I had a new tag with her name and my phone number engraved on it so that if she manages to sneak off again, someone can call us and get her back to us. When I went and looked for this tag on uh, the Xtool website, it is currently out of stock. So I've linked to an Amazon listing uh, that looks very similar. It's also stainless steel, and so the settings should match up pretty well. You could also do this with a colored anodized aluminum tag, but then you'd want to use those aluminum tag settings instead of the stainless steel. So if you need a new tag for one of your pets, or if you just want to see how fast it is to engrave a stainless steel tag using the F1 laser, then check out the rest of this video. After opening Xtool Creative Space, I'm going to connect to my F1 by Wi-Fi, and then I'm going to come to the materials. I'm going to find the heart shape stainless steel dog tag and select that as my material. Then I'm going to go to the shape menu and just add in a little heart. I'm going to do a heart outline around Zoe's name. So open up a text box. I'm just going to type in Zoe in all caps and I'm going to scroll through a few different fonts to see what I like. I don't want anything that's too hard to read. I finally settled on this font called Love Love. You'll type in your phone number here. You want this one to be very readable as well. So no swirly or curly numbers for your phone number. I'm going to select all three items and align them. I'm going to change to inches so that I can make this just smaller than the dog tag shape itself. You'll want to double check that the name and phone number are both set to engrave and that the heart is set to score. And I'm going to take this and just center it in the workspace. I'm going to click the framing button so that I can go check the machine using the heart shape itself as a reference. And then I just want that framing square to be centered over the heart shape. When I'm happy with the position, then I'll come back to the computer. I'm going to click stop framing and then I'm going to click process. Then I'll close down the green shield, click start on the screen and hit the start button on the side of the F tool machine so that we'll actually start engraving. It's going to do all the engraving first and then it's going to switch to the score line around the outside. If you are using a different brand of stainless steel tag, I would still start with these same settings and then see if you need to tweak anything. My guess is that the settings will work for you on any type of stainless steel tag like this. When it's done, you'll lift up the green shield and then go ahead and check out your tag. So hopefully that was pretty straightforward. Uh, let me know if you've got any questions about anything in the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel uh, so you can see the other laser videos that I make. And I will see you later. Bye.